Today I'm going to walk you through what credentialing would look like with the DocuSign Agreement Cloud. I'm going to start by playing the role of someone who's in charge of credentialing, and I need to send out a credentialing packet. With DocuSign, you can be anywhere on any device. All you need is internet and browser. All I need to do to log into DocuSign is just go to DocuSign.net, similar to logging into Gmail or LinkedIn. From here, I've already gone through DocuSign's onboarding process, which has allowed me to work with an adoption consultant to create a library of documents that I typically send out. In this case, all I need to do is select New, use a template, and select my credentialing application template. From here, all I need is the name and email of the party to send it to. And just like that, I've sent out the credentialing application to Sam Signer. At this point, I'll switch roles and play the part of the signer. They'll have a brand new email sitting in their email inbox. They'll be able to customize the message, company branding, and color scheme so they know who the document is coming from. At this point, all they need to do is click Review Documents. They don't need any DocuSign account. Again, all they need is an email address. The best part is they don't have to try and find a printer in order to go through and fill everything out as well. Here we can see they're automatically brought into DocuSign secure servers to begin the application. We can also see that there's some boxes that are gray or optional and some that are red or required. This is critical because with DocuSign, you can make certain fields required to be sure that the signer knows exactly what information they need to fill out and are guided with this navigation bar on the left. Any document actions can be set up as a part of your template during the onboarding process, like drop down menus, or make sure that they enter the social security number without missing a digit. I'll leave this in the improper format to show you what happens. The navigation bar will help guide the user throughout this entire process to know exactly what they need to do and where on your documents. Here I'm brought down to different areas that I need to fill out information only if it applies to me. Since I didn't have an internship, I can easily check this box and see that I don't need to fill out any of that information anymore. This is called conditional logic. Just like we can have fields disappear, they can also require users to add information. In this case, we need an explanation if they didn't complete a program. So we can include an attachment tag, which will allow them to upload or take a picture of any supporting documentation or certificates that they need to include. As they continue through the form, when they click on a signature tab, this is when DocuSign asks them what they would like their signature to look like, since they don't have a DocuSign account. They can select a specific style, or if they were on a touchscreen device like their phone, they would have been able to use their finger to draw out their signature. Now, when I think I'm done, I just click this Finish tab. This is when DocuSign will automatically navigate the user to any missed required fields or improperly entered information, like the social security number in this case. Once I correct the social security number, the navigation bar disappears and I'm able to finish. At this point, the sender, the signer, and someone I've actually set up in my template have all received a notification and copy of the completed document that they can reference at any time. If I switch back to the sender's point of view, I can see here that the document was automatically moved into my completed folder. All of the pending applications will automatically be organized in my Waiting for Others tab. If I click in, you can see you'll have a lot more information at your fingertips. Like when was the last time the document was viewed, or even if they filled out some information in that form data. While that document is waiting for their signature, you can also set up automatic reminders, where if it's been a day, you can let DocuSign automatically send out a reminder email, and every day after that as well, to help eliminate that workload off your plate of doing follow up phone calls or reminder emails, but most importantly, keep that email top of inbox for the recipient as well. If I ever need to reference or download the application that Sam's just signed, I can quickly click into my inbox and quickly type in the name, email, or other filters to quickly find the document I'm looking for. We can download the form data as a CSV file or utilize an add-on tool called DocuSign Retrieve to download in bulk every applicant's form data. If I click the download icon, we can see the completed PDF document. With DocuSign, you have the ability to combine required fields with conditional logic to provide a guided user experience so that the user knows exactly what they need to fill out. Most importantly, is you'll never need to check to make sure that the user's filled out the information that's needed because required fields can guarantee that.